Hey guys, Johnny here from TechMajesty.com. Before I start, I'd like you to please like the video and subscribe to our channel because it really helps us out. Today I'll be showing you how to unlock the Verizon iPhone SE that was released in 2020. The phone was just released today and I'll be showing you how to unlock it through this easy step-by-step -step process. Now I'm going to show you this on the iPhone SE, but it will also work on all other iPhone models including any new upcoming iPhone models as well. Our Verizon iPhone Unlock will unlock any iPhone regardless of any outstanding balances, financing, leases, contracts, etc. So once the phone has been unlocked, you will be able to use it with any GSM carrier of your choice both in the US and internationally. The unlock will not affect your warranty and it will also increase the resale value of your phone. To unlock the phone, you will need your computer, it can be a Mac or PC, the latest version of iTunes, a non-allowed SIM card, which basically means a SIM that is not from your original carrier, and a USB cable. If you do not have a non-allowed SIM card, later on in the video I'll show you how to unlock the phone using no SIM card at all. Now that we have all that ready, let's begin. The first thing we will need is the 15 digit IMEI number which you can get by going to the dialer of the phone and dialing star pound zero six pound. This will give you the 15 digit IMEI. So now that we have the IMEI number of the iPhone, we will go on the computer and open the internet browser to go to techmajesty.com. Once we are on this website, we will place an order to unlock our iPhone. We will choose the iPhone SE from 2020 since that's the phone we're unlocking today. Then from the carrier option, you will choose the carrier your phone is locked to AT&T, Sprint, Boost Mobile, Virgin Mobile, Verizon, Xfinity, Cricket, T-Mobile, etc. We will choose Sprint for example. Then you will go ahead and enter the 15 digit IMEI number that we got in the beginning of the video. After that, you will go ahead and click on the Add to Cart button to go through the checkout process to complete your order. Once you complete the checkout, you will receive an email within the stated time frame informing you that your iPhone has been unlocked. The email will look like this and say order enclosed. The email will contain instructions to complete the unlock for your phone. We will be using the first method and unlocking the phone using iTunes and a non-allowed SIM card. Now if you don't have a non-allowed SIM card or any SIM card for that matter, then you can simply restore the iPhone as a new phone through iTunes to complete the unlock as well. Make sure you do not restore it just from the backup because in order for the unlock process to be completed, the phone must be restored as a new iPhone. You can then later restore from backup or from iCloud to get your data back. So go ahead and grab your iPhone and insert the non-allowed SIM card into the phone. My phone is locked but I would like to use AT&T on it. So I will be inserting my AT&T SIM card into the phone. Once you insert the SIM card, go ahead and grab the USB cable and insert one end to the computer and the other end into your iPhone. Now that we have the iPhone connected to the computer, open up iTunes and wait for iTunes to detect the iPhone. Once iTunes detects the iPhone, you'll get the following message saying congratulations, your iPhone has been unlocked. So that's it, the phone is now permanently factory unlocked and you can restore, upgrade or do anything else to the phone and the phone will remain unlocked. As you can see, AT&T is listed at the top left hand corner of the screen, so that means the unlock worked perfectly. So guys, it's as simple as that to unlock your iPhone and to start using it with any GSM carrier of your choice in the US or internationally. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe if the video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.